Okay, here's another short video where we're going to run through again the, the, the different properties of alpha, beta and gamma. Now specifically we're going to look at what materials stop alpha, beta and gamma. Okay, now the setup we have here, the GM tube, this is the thing that detects the individual alpha, betas and gammas. By going into the tube they create an electrical pulse which is countered with the scalar timer. Connected to the scalar timer, we have a big loud speaker. So this thing counts, and this thing gives a click each time this detects one. Now, as we can see, it's going up. The, the, the number of counts is going up slowly but steadily because there's something called background radiation in this room. Now, background radiation is totally natural, it occurs all around us, um, but at this level, it's completely harmless. Okay, now the thing we're going to use, I think you remember this from a previous video, is some radioactive rocks. We're not allowed any radium or uranium or plutonium in school for obvious reasons. But the only thing we are allowed is some radioactive rocks. Okay, now safety wise, I'm not going to touch them directly, I can only use the tongs. Right, let's take this, this, one, this one here. Right. Now, looks a bit green. That's not because it's glowing, because it's radioactive. It's green because it contains compounds of copper. I think that's maybe copper carbonate. But it also contains some radioactive isotopes in there. And if you bring that close, we can see the count rate rising very quickly. Okay, that's rock number one. Let's have a look at this one here. Next one. So again, green, again containing Definitely some uh, some compounds of copper. So if I grab that with the tongs, we get out of that. You can see the count rate going up. Okay. Slightly different rock. This one looks a bit more like sandstone. Again, contains some radioactive isotopes, which are going to be given off either alpha, beta, or gamma. Just show you that. So, uh, it's a bit like sandstone. Now, less radioactive, giving a considerably less count rate than the green ones. Okay. But anyway, what we want to do now is show okay, what stops them. Right, as we know, alpha is stopped by a couple of sheets of paper. Beta, so that will stop your alpha. Okay. Beta particles are stopped with a few sheets of aluminium. Gamma rays will be stopped with lead. Now, Let's go with this one. Let's go with the big green one. Let's get that out of the bag. Now then. There's the sample there. Well, as we can see, so like, there's quite a lot coming off on this side. There we go. Right, let's give us a nice count rate. So let's see. First one, paper. If I put the paper down, any change? Right, no change whatsoever. So what does that tell us? Does this radioactive rock, is it giving off alpha particles? Well, the answer would have to be no. There's no alpha emission from this, because if it was alpha, or if there was some alpha, then putting the paper would make the count rate go down. 
so definitely not alpha. What about beta? A few sheets of aluminium. Right, does drop a little bit, doesn't it? Now, that's enough aluminium, that's enough sheets of aluminium to, put, to pretty much stop most of the beta particles. So the fact that it doesn't drop to zero, or close to zero, means that it's, it's definitely some beta, because the count rate is reducing, but there must be some gamma as well, because with the aluminium, there's still quite a considerable count rate. So although the count rate does drop, that's because it's now stopping the beta, there's still some gamma getting through. The final one, just to show that this does stop the gamma, is a few centimetres of lead. So let's try that one. As we can see, zero. Okay, so that's the level, that's the amount of, of aluminium that will stop all of the gamma. So obviously this is stopping the beta as well, but then that was enough to stop the beta, but this is also blocking out the gamma as well. Another thing that will stop gamma is a few centimetres of aluminium. Okay, so there you have it. Alpha, beta and gamma, and which materials stop each Thank you.